Hello, hi everyone. I'm going to show a solution for exercise 6.3 from Panman textbook regarding on how to use abnormal earning growth valuation models. In these questions, you are given these two types of information. The first one is the forecast earning and second one is forecast dividend for five years. Okay. And you are also given information that the required rate of return R is equal to 10%. So your first step, what you should do is you need to calculate what is your reinvested dividend. For example, for year 2013, you issued dividend of 115 million maybe. And then what if the firm bring what if you reinvested this dividend and generate the same amount of return? So the amount of reinvested dividend will be 1115 times 10%. That is 0 0.10. And then you follow the same procedure for dividend 2014. If you reinvest, you should get 16. 349 multiply by 0 0.1. This one multiply by 0 0.1 and multiply 0 0.1. So that gives you a reinvested dividend. Okay, after doing that, you can calculate come dividend earnings. The formula is earnings plus reinvested dividend. That gives you 518.5. Earning plus reinvested dividend, this gives you 615. And continue for the, for the, uh, for the following year. Okay, so now you have this CAM dividend earnings. You need to calculate what is your normal earnings. Based on your previous year, for example, 2013, and your expected return, uh, your required rate of return of 10%, you expect that this earning will grow by 10%. Will grow by 10%. So, how I'm going to do that, I just multiply by 1.10. For the second year, 570 multiply by 1.10. Let me just clear everything up there. Okay. For the first year, this one, multiply by 1.1. Second year, multiply by 1.1 and third year multiply by 1.1 and finally multiply by 1.1 earnings multiply by 1.1 1.1 is equal to 110 percent okay so after having this number you can calculate your abnormal earning gross that is by deducting your re -e, sorry your cum dividend earnings with your normal earnings your cum dividend minus your normal earning cum dividend earning minus normal earning so this will give you this abnormal earning, earning gross.